Hey everybody, it's Clint Arthur, and I'm making this quick video of the Sheraton Mexico City Ozdland Luxury Suite. And I'm gonna start this video here at the club lounge. It's a very nice club lounge. It has a really nice breakfast, nice views. You can see in there, I mean, I'll open it for you so you can see. Okay, just so you can see. It's a very nice club lounge. And I'm, I'm showing you that because part of the Oslin suite is that you're gonna have access to the club lounge, of course. You have to go through this keyed entryway. This is where all their high level suites are. I think there's four of them in this level, including one of them, which is their quote unquote presidential suite. This is the Oslin suite. And here I am. You come into a large foyer and a bath, a powder room over there. There's a lame kitchen with no refrigerator. But, you know, there is a coffee maker here. There should be a fridge, but there's not. That's a big down negative of this. This is the whole thing, right? This is what the Oslin Suite is all about. Do this, give you some more light. This is what this suite is all about. Very nice living area. They should have a bigger table. They really should. This should, even though this is only a one bedroom suite, they should have a table for eight. And then you have this very nice balcony, okay? What makes this balcony so great, of course, is the view of Mexico City's number one most famous landmark, the Angel of Independence, which is right there. There are some nice restaurants within easy walking distance. A couple of them over there that I've gone to that are very nice. I walked around this whole neighborhood. It was very safe. Looks like there's a restaurant down there that I have not been to. Then beyond this living area, is the bedroom, which is upstairs, which I'm really not a fan of. Even though they've done a nice job with the tile details, I, I'm not a fan of having to go upstairs to go to the bedroom, but it's pretty nice, you know? Decent size, has a view, good blackout curtains, full bathroom, big closets, two, two large closets, double sink, shower and tub. Mm. You know, I, I would never use the Jacuzzi Jets in a hotel bathroom, but they're there. And then little powder room area there. So all in all, the Aslan suite, I really enjoyed it a lot. My Oh, there's a little mini bar there. My question for you is, when you are sleeping alone in a king size bed, which side of the bed do you sleep on? That's the question I wanna know. Put the, your answers in the comments and say if you're a man or a woman, if you're married or not, and then which side do you sleep on? I personally always sleep over there on the left side. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up from the Oslin Suite. And uh, If you want more reviews of luxury suites or if you want to see reviews about Clint Arthur, go to ClintArthurReviews.com. I travel all over the world in my work as a celebrity entrepreneur, helping other authors, speakers, coaches, experts, advisors, consultants to position yourself as a celebrity in the eyes of your customers and prospects. So. Go to Clint Arthur Reviews for more information about that. Hey, check out my new book, Wisdom of the Men. It's nominated for the Pulitzer Prize. It's going to wrap it up. Adios, amigos.